So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Sanya Rastogi, who have recently cracked a job as a data flow analyst and most importantly as a fresher. This video will be very important for you because I will be asking her to present her resume which helped her in the interview process. We'll discuss about the job hunting strategies which she applied it practically and lastly we'll talk about the interview process what all things were focused in the interview rounds. And also friends you can congratulate her in the comment box for her success. And friends if you want to learn the data analyst skills which includes Power BI, SQL, Excel and Python then I would recommend you to go for Code Basics Data Analyst Bootcamp 2.0 and you can become an AI enabled data analyst. This bootcamp is very affordable. It costs Rs 6300 and at the same time the quality of the content is very good. That I can assure you of. These are the things that you will be learning in the bootcamp. First you will start with Excel, then Power BI, then SQL, then Python and parallelly you will be taught about online credibility, how online presence is important nowadays in the market. They will guide you in resume preparation. They will provide strategies to apply for the jobs in different companies. They will help in interview preparation and they will also provide a virtual internship which, which you can include in your resume too. At the end, after four months of hard work, you will be job ready in the market. So this is a brilliant bootcamp to go for for a very affordable price. I will provide the link of this bootcamp in the description box of this video. Please do check it out. Uh, so Sanya, I have already given the introduction of yours. So let's start with the first question. So uh, can you tell the audience about your educational background, which degree you hold and from where you belong? Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, I basically belong to Fatehpur and uh, I have done my schooling from Fatehpur itself. And for my graduation, I went to Prayagraj and did my bachelor's in science with a specialization in mathematics in the year 2020. So wh what did you do after graduation? What was your plan? So uh, after my graduation, I took one year gap uh, in the COVID period. Uh, then, uh, but at that time, I was upskilling myself. And then I decided to pursue masters in computer application. So I went to um, I went to Ghaziabad and did my uh, MCA. So what was the status of placement in your college? So I was placed in Capgemini uh, in October 2022. But later on, uh, in January 2023, I got an email that my offer letter has been revoked. And uh, after that, so many uh, non-technical companies came for placement. But I felt like uh, I didn't want to go to uh, tech, non technical field. I wanted to stay in the technical field. So, when you passed out your MCA, you didn't have any offer? No. Okay, so what was the next plan? So, like, how did you come into data analytics domain? After, um, after completing my master's, I went to my home. Then, during that period, I was active on LinkedIn so much like I used to spend a lot of time as I was not interested in the tech uh, in the software development tool like I was not much into coding part so uh, I searched about the fields that requires less coding then uh, through Google I got to learn about data analyst tool which was perfect for me like it requires um, Excel Python SQL Power BI problem solving critical thinking I, I thought like uh, this is perfect for me. So in which month in 2023 you started uh, learning all these skills? In 2023, uh, I started my learning from uh, July. And what was the resources that you used and how much time did you take to learn all these skills? I took three months. SQL was the uh, SQL was a skill that I learned in uh, college itself. So I had to focus less on it. From July, I started learning Power BI from your channel that is uh, Learn with Kicks and uh, analytics with NAC. Um, I took help from these YouTube channels and uh, for Excel and SQL, uh, I learned I learned it from Risha Mishra's cha uh, YouTube channel. So your entire learning was from YouTube completely, right? Yeah, right. Okay, that's good, very good. So you upskilled and learned all these skills in three to four months, as you said. Then what happened? What did you do next? Then uh, in September 2023, I got an um, internship opportunity from Culture Hire and uh, I discovered about this platform through LinkedIn itself. It was a three month, I completed that internship in three months. So was it paid or unpaid? Sir, it was uh, unpaid. So now the next main thing is, uh, obviously you have now got the job. So your resume must be uh, good enough for the recruiters. Can you can you tell uh, more about your resume and, and also please share your screen and show the resume to the audience. That will be more helpful. So here is my resume. I mentioned all, all the skills that I learned uh, during the 
past months and here i have mentioned my work experience from culture hire and here i worked as a data analyst intern so my main motive to uh, pursue this internship was to gain hands on experience like uh, i got all the learnings from youtube but i wanted to gain hands on experience then i did four projects like here i have mentioned four projects related to each skill like here i have built one excel project one sql project one python project and one from power bi you have also mentioned link at the last so you also attached the direct interactive link also of the, of the projects yeah here i have mentioned these links and this will direct you, redirect you to github uh, on github i have shared my uh, my projects so sanya can you can you tell the importance of certification do we do we require certification or we can directly rely on the projects so um, as a fresher we should focus on everything like not we should not rely on only certifications or or on only projects so um, in my case i have i did my certifications and then i showcased my skills through projects so here i did two certifications one of python from cisco networking academy and the other one was from coursera like i did uh, google advanced data analytics professional certificate from coursera and this was absolutely free of cost like i opted for financial aid and it was free of cost so if you are a fresher you can explore about the certificate from coursera different certificates that are available on coursera and and just check if you are able to do any kind of certification and and the result will be that you can put it on your resume just the way uh, sanya has put it and sanya what was the ats score of your resume so uh, the ats score of my resume was 85% for checking the ats uh, score i used two websites one is resume worded and the second one is job scan so now the next main question is what was your job hunting strategy which platforms did you utilize and what was the frequency of the interview call as a fresher so i utilized majorly two platforms one is nokri and this other one was linkedin there were few strategies that i used personally so uh, let me talk about nokri first i used to update my profile daily twice a time like uh, first in the morning from between 8 am to 9 am and this uh, and the second timing was from 12 to uh, 2 pm at that time the recruiters are more active like what i felt they were more active in these durations and this was my first strategy that i followed and the other one was i used to apply to at least 5 to 10 relevant job openings and uh, the third one was i was not to, uh, stick to only one job profile like suppose if i uh, at that time i was only targeting data analyst role but i used to apply to other others uh, other relevant roles as well like i used to apply to power bi developer role sql developer uh, data engineer so i was open to other roles too so uh, talking about my uh, strategies that i used in linkedin i focused more on building the personal brand i used to Uh, share my learnings with the linkedin people i was consistent and this obviously increase uh, this obviously increased my online presence so uh, here is my linkedin profile so here uh, i have mentioned all the relevant things in my about section and uh, i have mentioned top skills that i am proficient in and in my featured section I have mentioned my interview experience, and uh, here I have showcased my projects as well. So, uh, if some recruiter come to my profile, they will get to know about my works. In my experience section, I have mentioned my uh, internship experience and uh, and have explained it. Uh, so, friends, you can see how Sanya has uh, optimized her LinkedIn profile, and which has helped her also in the job hunting process. so you can also optimize your linkedin profile and it will be really helpful for you as well so now let's talk about your interview experience how many rounds happened and what all things were asked in the interview i was asked about sql python and uh, power bi uh, in almost every interview sql is the basic skill that every uh, interviewer is looking for they focused on a logical part also so so sanya how many interview calls you received uh, during your job hunting process when i was searching job and uh, after applying 
I got about four to five calls for which I would I was called for interview. And out of these, if I consider five interview calls, so you somehow got rejected in four, and you got selected in one interview, right? Yeah. And friends, if you watched the video till now, then do subscribe the channel. Uh, it will really motivate me. Okay, Sanya. So uh, based on your experience, what what salary can a fresher expect uh, for the data analyst role? So for a fresher, the expected salary uh, is around. Four to five LPA. Okay, Sanya. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your experience. It was um, it was an amazing session, and definitely people will learn a lot from your experience. So thank you so much for coming. So thank you so much, sir, for inviting me for this session.